Today we are at an abandoned roadside attraction. A theme park filled with dinosaurs here in Florida. There's one of them right here. Concrete dinosaurs built originally back in 1948. We're gonna take you around, show you some of the dinosaurs, tell you a little of the story, and we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. Ah, ah, the dinosaurs have come back to life. Run for your life. The Dinosaur Amusement Park originally opened in 1948. It was at the site of an old sugar mill. There's a Triceratops right there behind us. Look at the horns on this thing here. Ah. Ah. Yeah. That would hurt. Man, imagine if that thing was real. It'd be crazy. <laughs> we definitely wouldn't be standing here talking to you guys. No way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there are several of these dinosaurs still left here. The amusement park only stayed open for a couple years. Unfortunately, they ran into some financial problems there, but several of the dinosaurs were left behind for us to enjoy to this day. Plus, it's a neat little area to walk around in. Let's take a little look around. Behind us is a giant ground sloth. These things lived in America about 110,000 years ago. Look at that thing, a beast. You'll notice that there's cracks and discoloration from being exposed to the elements after all these years. It's so cool that it's still standing. We are now coming upon a Stegosaurus. Ah! These things lived about 150 million years ago. Plant eaters. Look how big that thing is there. It's and we said earlier it was made of concrete. Heather also found out that it was made of wires, right? Uh-huh, a wire frame. Wire frame inside of the concrete to create these massive beasts. Do in feed the dinosaurs. Hmm. Not sure what that used to say, but I guess the dinosaur didn't like it too much. He took a big old bite out of the sign. So we made our way over here and found the human sundial. Now this actually used to be part of the roadside attraction when it was Bongo Land, and they've recreated it now. So let's go up here by Mark. It's pointing just after the 12. Sure enough, it is 12.09. So the human sundial works. It's incredible. That is incredible. The park was called Bongo Land in honor of a large baboon housed on the grounds. Behind us, we have a ferocious meat eater uh, that lived over 250 million years ago. Can you tell us what this is? Put it in the comment section below. Have you ever wondered where do gnomes live? Check out this gnome home. There's so many little fine details. Loved how they use a tree stump to make it. Even though this place may have cost money once upon a time to get in, now it's free. Completely free. Although they do accept donations because it's kept up on a volunteer basis and they could use a little money. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.